No more newbie here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a custom thumbnail just like this on the free and easy Share Factory app on the PS4. So if you want to learn how to make free and easy PS4 gaming videos and maybe even go up onto YouTube, then this is a channel for you. So please just stop what you're doing and take a second just to subscribe and turn on notifications and drop a like for me. I would really appreciate it. I'm desperate to grow this channel to make it better for you guys. So uh, we're going to be doing a custom thumbnail like this and the way we start and we're going to be doing one in Fortnite. So what we need to do is go straight into the game settings and go down and make sure that recording on uh, creative and also recording on replays just above that is both on uh, and in this game we've jumped into a solo game and we're going to be using a recording on replays to make our thumbnail so I've just jumped into a live game and uh, I found a location where I want to go and this is where we are going to do our thumbnail so that's going to be our backdrop there. So we're going to turn around, look straight forwards and start doing a couple of emotes. And we're just going to do a couple and somebody's interrupting us. Just bear with me. Yeah, I'm back. And so, um, so we're just going to do a couple of emotes and just um, let those play out. I'm only going to do a couple, but it just gives us a, a couple of options for screenshots. And what you could do is actually batch do your screenshots so use each of these emotes to do different positions you'll have the same backdrop but uh, we're doing and then once you've done that press uh, leave we want to leave the game and then we are just going to go into replays and find the latest the last game go into replays find the position that we're at I've just folded this on a little bit to get to the position and then I'm pushing the triangle button to pause the game and then the right stick to change the camera so we want to go to drone free there and then once we've done that, I'm just going to speed this up. We want to find where our uh, player is over here. And once we've found that, we can change the camera angle to get it exactly how we want the screenshot or the, the thumbnail to look. So I'm just going to push the triangle to start again and push it again to stop it. If we want it there as a... Uh, uh, character position so actually looks quite good like that so we can then just press the left stick to turn off all the huds and that's all disappeared and got rid of all the display we push the share button once and then click on screenshot and then that says screenshot saved on the capture gallery on the left hand corner there or the other option is just pressing screen uh, share button on your controller once and going down to save screen push triangle and that says screenshot saved capture gallery there so we've got two different ways of saving they're both being the gallery uh, galleries there once we've done that we can just leave the game and so leave match and then that will send us back to the uh, beginning and we can just close down Fortnite. we're done with Fortnite there and we just go into the share factory app here and then this will give us the options to start our video and for this instance we're just going to go into a new project and then these are all the custom themes intros and outros that you can choose i just go into the basic one get rid of all the ticks bar that one and then start project by pressing square rename project i suggest you always rename your projects i'll put new custom thumbnail and then confirm and then continue and then we just find our thumbnail okay so we press the cross button and then we go to add screenshots and then we come down to find the screenshots that we took so we got any of these ones we could choose we're going to click on there and then press square to add the screenshot and there it is okay so we can delete this bit we don't need that anymore so press square and then delete and that's left us with the thumbnail so we can start playing about with this to get how we want it so first thing to do is add overlay go down to text and then we can choose any of these uh, text options and then we just type in whatever we want our thumbnail to say so just for this one I'm just going to put custom thumbnail so do it in two words because I'm going to be moving them around separately so click on that Te uh, transform allows us to move it around so using if you look along the left uh, down the bottom there it tells you all the buttons to push to change it and move the angles and change the sizes so we're just going to move it about to get it in a position that we want i've just put it a bit of a slight angle text duration it doesn't really matter we're just going to put that throughout the whole of the clip here and i'm just going to type in 
the thumbnail, speed that up a little bit so you're not waiting for me to type it all in and get that into position. And then we just want to make sure that that's exactly how we want it. Obviously we could add stickers and other things, but I think this is fine. So I'm just gonna, on the controller, push the options button and then click cross to export to gallery. And then it will come up with confirmed to uh, export it to gallery. So you can get, come to that at any point, or you can press options on the controller. And um, once it's in the right place, push options and then generate thumbnail, assuming you've got your project as you want it. And then you will, it will show your project thumbnail saved. And then you would delete it off of your project because you won't want it on your video actually when you upload it to YouTube. So just an example, new project, click any of these and then get rid of the crosses at the top. You could just go straight into the thumbnail there, or if you want to continue and work on your project first, then you could come back to it at a later point, choose clips, click on that, press the square button, and there you go, it's added your custom thumbnail, and then you could then generate your thumbnail for your project then. And then remember just to delete it before you upload your video. It will still hold your thumbnail and you'll see that when you transfer it from Share Factory up to YouTube, you'll see your thumbnail there. Okay, so that's it. That's how to make a custom thumbnail. So if you like this video, please do subscribe, turn on notifications and like below and do comment. I'll be interested to see if you've used uh, this method for your own thumbnails. And if you have, please do link it below in the comments and I'll come and check out your channel and have a look. Thanks.